Although Larsa Pippen and her former partner Marcus Jordan parted ways a few months ago, it seems that the reality star didn't spend her birthday by herself. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. She recently celebrated her 50th birthday with friends and family at the Boca Raton Resort in Florida. She even brought Safari, who lifted up his top to pose for several pictures with her. Pippin looked stunning in a translucent jumpsuit covered with crystals, accessorizing with a white cowgirl hat, nude heels, and other accessories. Safari promptly posted a number of pictures from the event on Instagram, indicating that they had a great time. In another video, he was seen tearing up the dance floor and captioning one of them, me and my fav. Fans are naturally wondering whether this indicates that tensions between him and Pippin are rising, and what their ex-partners think of their antics. Naturally, the images and video surfaced shortly after his former partner Erica Mina attacked him online for his lack of parenting abilities. To put it mildly, Erica Mina and Safari's relationship hasn't been easy. In general, even though they had two kids, the couple is no longer together. In the end, their romance was featured on programs like Love & Hip Hop. After all, this isn't necessarily a good combination for a partnership. But there's no denying that these two will fight frequently and in public on social media. These arguments can occasionally be a little one-sided, with one person expressing their sentiments. I was with Nikki, we broke up. Her fans and certain people, they just wanted it to be like, okay, they're not together no more. Safari recently discussed his scandalous relationship with Nikki Minaj in an interview. He mentioned in the interview that the years after their split were difficult. Him, let him be nothing, let him disintegrate, let him disappear. It was generally a dismal moment, and some people didn't want to be around him. Mina doesn't appear to feel sorry for her ex, either. She even unleashed some venom on Safari on Instagram. She basically thinks his actions are shameful. It was like nobody wanted to be next to me, nobody wanted to work with me or none of that. I will forever be embarrassed that I gave sis these incredible, beautiful babies, Mina wrote. He don't even talk or care about his seeds this much online or in real life. Mina then doubled back in the comments section over at the shade room with more commentary. Hopefully sis can end his deadbeat struggle next, she wrote. If one thing is for certain, it is that there is no love lost between these two. Sitting on this couch with you crazy motherfuckers, this is the best thing could have happened to me tonight. The game is a creative person who has never hesitated to express his true opinions on various subjects. In general, it has occasionally gotten him into difficulty in the past. It has, nevertheless, also brought him a good number of admirers and supporters. He was the ideal guest for Tia Kemp, Tokyo Tony, and Carlissa Saffold's Aunt Tea podcast because of his tendency to voice his opinions. You wanna take five or something? I'll do Six it, two. I'll take one for the team. We've talked a lot about this podcast, which has thus far revealed some incredible teasers. It comes out that Tony was the target of the game's sex seduction attempt during the episode. Over there looking like the lady gremlin. <laughs> the game then appeared to offend Tokyo Tony during a tumultuous exchange that followed. There will be many more moments like this one in the future of this show, that much is clear. Without a doubt, one of the more distinctive social media stars is Tokyo Tony. All things considered, she is Black China's mother and is well known for her oddball Instagram tales, lives, and outbursts. Her admirers adore her in spite of her hostile remarks. At the end of the day, she knows how to entertain, and she has had some legendary moments. Now, she gets to show off her talent on her Auntie Zeus Network podcast, which Carlissa Saffold and Tia Kemp co-host. The three women had on the game on the podcast last night. For a variety of reasons, the game is an intriguing visitor overall. This black ass nigga that's about to come out to fuck my daughter, I wanna hear about it. But given the format of the podcast, it was clear he was there for the mess. Actually, Tokyo Tony disclosed to them that their guest had slept with Black China, her daughter. This sparked an odd discussion about Black China's sexual abilities. Throughout the chat, Tokyo Tony didn't even blink once. Me too. Oh, no whoa, chance. what the f- what? Crap. Rather, she became envious and tried to prove to the game that she was even more talented than her daughter. The game was astounded by what he was seeing, and it was all extremely strange. Tony was being encouraged by Kemp and Saffold to keep strutting in front of their guest. Oh, okay, so game, yeah. we wanna know. Uh, all things considered, this is the kind of content viewers are hoping for from the program. The internet knew things were going to go crazy when it was announced that these three would be doing a program together. This episode suggests that the show has not yet let us down. The mother of Rick Ross's child, Tia Kemp, is well known for her outrageous activities on social media. All in all, she has been a real pain in Ross's side. He constantly makes fun of him on social media. Moreover, everything has only gotten worse once the artist discovered that he was being attacked in Canada. Throughout the feud, she has even taken Drake's side, which has resulted in some amusing social media posts. Kemp now has an entirely new stage on which to disparage Ross. We are discussing her just released Aunt T podcast on Zeus Network, of course. She, Carlissa Saffold, and even Tokyo Tony host the program. Your algorithm should be alarmed by this lineup. The game, who is also at odds with Rick Ross, was recently featured on the program. Kemp appeared to be in a good mood as a result. Tia would let me give her a lap dance, and she'd give me one back. I don't pay for nothing. Come on. All in all, she was with someone who disliked Raze as much as she did. 
She then proceeded to give the game a lap dance as a result. Boss might get mad, but hey, dog, fine, man. Even though the fans at home weren't startled by anything, Tokyo Tony and Saffold certainly weren't. The episode went up last night, and at the same time as the video, it went viral. This show is going to be a reliable source of viral videos, if anything. There are already two or three snippets from the game episode that have people in disbelief at what they're seeing. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.